We are learning the Sefer Pituch Echutam from Rabbeinu Yaakov Avi Chatzira. It is Parshas Koirach. Now, Rabbeinu Yaakov on Parshas Koirach has one piece in Pituch Echutam, which we learned last year, and I will put a link for it below in the comments. Um, today, we are going to learn a piece from Rabbeinu Yaakov, but from the Sefer Machsef Halavan. So, get ready, here we go. All right, so we got Kairach, not an easy parasha. Ve'yikharu Moshe Mo'oid. Moshe is exceedingly upset. Ve'yemr l'Hashem. And he says to Hashem, Al teifen el minchasa. Don't turn to their mincha. Le'chamar echad me'em nasasa. I took nothing from them. Le'yari oisi es achemim. I did nothing wrong. Now, let's step back for a minute. And let's go back to the beginning of Barashas. And you'll find something interesting between the first parak in Perak Aleph, and the, I'm sorry, the first Pusik in Perak Aleph, and the first Pusik in Perak Beis. The Torah opens up, B'Rejah's bar alikim es ha-shemayim ve'es ha-aretz. Hashem creates the world, b'midas hadin, with the Shem Elikim, and throughout the first Perak, all you'll find is the Shem Elikim. Begin the second Perak, and the Pusik says, E'la tilt es ha-shemayim ve'aretz, b'hi baram, Beyoim asais havaya elikim eretz vishamayim. So all of a sudden we have a shem elikim. What's that? The idea is because, as we're told, Akash Baruch saw that the world would not be able to stand on din alone, and therefore he was mishtatev mitzarif imamidas harachamin, the shem havaya, and to be mamtak v'dinim. So Baruch Hu is, you know, there's, there's, uh, it's not just justice, not strict justice. Kaddish Baruch Hu takes into account everything. That's Hashem Malikim. So Rabbi Yaakov is very bothered. Why is Moshe, Vayichar Moshe Ma'id Vayemer Al Hashem Al Teifan Al Menchasam? It's like Maman of Shach. Maman of Shach. If they do tshuva, and they do, and they get back on. I said, no, take the mincha. What's the big deal? And if they don't do tshuva, and they're mamish rishayim, so then the Akash Baruch is not going to take the mincha anyway. So why is my Rabbeinu coming with strong midas hadin? That Akash Baruch will open up and create a new creation to swallow them alive. They're done. Where's the, where's the Shemavai? You know, where's the Rachamim? What, 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 what's Moshe's concern? If they if they deserving, so they'll get it. If they don't deserve it, so they won't. What's the al teifen al menchasam? Shabbat is bothered by. So for this, we got to take a look at a very awesome Rashi. So by the Maraglam, Moshe Davin Sakharish Baruch Hashem Erech Apayim Verav Chesed Nisi Ovein Vafesha Vinaki Lo Yinaki. In a bridged version of the Yud Gimel Midas Harach. He says, Hashem, Erech HaPayim. Hashem, you're slow to anger. So Rashi tells us an interesting tidbit. What does it mean, HaKash Baruch Hu's Erech HaPayim? So Rashi says, La Tzadikim Vila Rishayim. This Mida affects, for the good, both Tzadikim. Hashem is patient for Tzadikim. And he's also patient for Rishayim. But look, what, listen to this conversation. Kisha Allah Maisha Lamar, when Maisha Rabbeinu went up to Shemayim, Matzayak HaKash Baruch he saw Kash Baruch Shei Yoshev Kaisev, and Hashem was writing, Hashem Erech Abayim. Hashem is patient. Amr Lai Let Sadikim. So Moshe said, "That's Gavaldik Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So you're patient. I assume that's just for the Sadikim." I'm like Kash Baruch Hu. After the Rishayim, also for the wicked, I'm patient. Amr Lai Moshe says to Hashem, "Rishayim Yevedu, let the Rishayim be destroyed." Amr Lai Hashem says to Moshe, "Chayacha by your life." You're going to need this one. And Keshachat to Yisrael Be'egel. From the Yidins and by the golden calf. Ubem Raglam and by the spies. Hispal Moshe Lefanov. Moshe Davin da Kadosh Baruch Hu Be'erech Apai. So I'm like Kadosh Baruch Hu. Vala Yamarata Leila Tzadikim. You said that this is only for Tzadikim. Amrle Moshe said back. Vala Yamarata Leila. But you said it's after the Rishayim. This is also for Rishayim. And therefore I'm going to use it for Rishayim as well. So we see that there's there's a meat of Erech HaPayim. Kodesh Baruch Hu is patient. And even if someone's a Russia, he can, his feelings can still be answered. 
more than that. The Gemara Shashana tells us, Amr Yechanan, Il Mali Mikra Kosov Yevshel Aimer, if the Torah didn't say this, you couldn't say such a thing. Well, I mentioned this, Atif, Kadesh Baruch Hu, Kishliach Tzibur. Kadesh Baruch Hu, Kaviyachal, appeared to Moshe like Kishliach Tzibur. The Herod of the Moshe said to Tefillah, and he taught Moshe how to dab. And he said, Whenever the Yidin sin, let them do for this Seder, this order of prayer, which is Yirgum Mizrachem, and I'll forgive them. Hashem Hashem. What does it say, Hashem Hashem, twice? So he says, I am Hashem before man sins, and I am God after man sins. He asked that you in the Shuvah. I give him new hischaches. Kael rachem v'chanu. I'm merciful and I give chinun. I'm great. I'm gracious. Zay Amr of Yehuda. Bris krusel shleish esrei midas. There is a treaty, a pact, made with the yugim yisrachemim. She ingen choizus reikem. They don't come back empty-handed. She emar hinei anechi kuris bris. You're making a pact. So my shabbina was a little bit nervous. You know. He says, there's a midah of a Baruch of Erech There's a midah, there's a, 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 a haftacha given to the Yugim Mitz of Rachamim. So Moshe said, you know, maybe they, they're going to bring this mincha and they're going to invoke the Yugim Mitz of Rachamim. And then what I'll, you know, then I'm stuck. Now, there's a remis here as well. Rabbi Yaakov points out. He says like this. There's a shame of Aleph, Hey, Yud, Hey. We say Hashem, the shame of Ek, Yeh. Ek means I will be. And that's a, a, a shame of Tshuva. And the shame of Ek, Yeh, I means I'm not there yet. I means I something I will be. Um, there's three ways to spell the Milui of Ek, Yeh. Because a Hey can be spelled with a Yud, and can be spelled with a Hey, and can be spelled with an Aleph. And therefore, there are different um, miluyim of the Shem Ekya. If we take all of them, all the miluyim of Kasa, Kana, Kamag, that's 161, 151, and 143, we get a total of 455. Now, if you take, this is, this is awesome. Uh, here we have the Yigram Mizrachim. Now, um, according to some, they, they, you know, the Machlech is where the Yigram Mizrachim start from. I think the Arizal says it starts from Kale. So if you look at the Yirgumas of Rachem, Kale Rachem Echem, Erech Apayim, Rav Chesav Emes, Neitzah Chesav Alof, Neitzah Ove Vesha Vechatov Vinakei, and you take the Rashi Tevis of those letters you got here, Aleph, Resh, Vav, Aleph, Aleph, Vav, Ches, Vav, Nun, Ches, Lamed, Nun, Ayin, Vav, 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 gives you 455. Right? That was, if you remember, the Gimel Miluim of the Shem Ekya is 455. That's a Remez. So that means these, these the Yom Yisrachim are very Mishtaich, are very connected to the Shem of Ekya. If you take 455 and you add three for the, sh- the three Ekyas that it corresponds to, so you get Nachas. And this is what Rabbi Yaakov says, what, what was troubling my Rabbeinu. Because if they're going to say the Yigum is and they're going to tap into this Kayach and they're going to bring a Nachas Ruach to Kadesh Baruch Hu, so then a Kadesh Baruch Hu will be Erech Apayim. And this was Moshe's concern. Therefore, Moshe had a Davin, Al Tefen El Minchasam. Don't accept them. Don't accept their Mincha. Now let's look at these, let's look at these words. Al Tefen El Minchasam. Vayemer Hashem, I'm sorry, Vayemer Moshe, Yemer al Hashem, Moshe says to Hashem, Al Tefen El Menchasam. Al Tefen El Menchasam actually equals four. Hold on. What did I? The Rashi Tevis of Al Tev of Yemer El Hashem, Al Tefen El Menchasam. The Rashi Tevis, the first of each letter, is four hundred and fifty-eight. That's Nachas. If Moshe was cursed, Goyna was was. The, the hint of it, the remez is that there is something, Moshe wasn't so worried about, you know, their, their mincha, but the nachas ruach that they could bring from the Yigim Rachim to their mincha. And if we dive it, I'll take it on Now what's Pshat? Why is it talking? Like what was the miraglim Moshe could have for? The 
But why was Kerach so bad? Shabbat Yaakov says, because here there was a piggy, here, here they knew the truth. And their bad, their midas got in the way of the truth. And when you're pegea in the emes, when you mess up with emes, you don't deserve erchapai. When you know the truth and you didn't, and, and you, you, you let your midas get in the way of what's right, then there's no, there's no room for, there's no room for patience. There's no erchapai. So Moshe says, Al Tefen El Manchasam. Tefen El Manchasam is Rashi Tevis, MS. We'll end with the Gemara in Baba Basra that tells us about Rabbi Rachana was on a tour of the desert with an Arab. And he says, Come, I'm going to show you the, uh, the Adas Kerch that was swallowed up into the, uh, into the earth. And he says, I saw two rifts in the ground that were issuing smoke. The Arab took a shearing of wool and dipped it into water and inserted it on the head of the spear of a spear and placed it in there. And when he removed the wool, it was scorched. He said to me, listen to what you hear. And I heard what they were saying. Moshe v'seirasai emes v'hein badayim. Moshe and his terror are true. And we in the earth are the liars. There was a pegiyah in the mid of emes. When you're missing emes, you don't get erchapayim. You don't get... Take what, you know, you, I, I'm reading this and I'm learning this Torah and it's, 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 it's gewaldic. And then, what if we're not rishayim? What if we're good yidin that are trying to do the right thing? Achal achas kama v'kama. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is waiting for us. He's ready for us. And the koyach of tefillah we have, the power of our invoking the of Rachamim. And we're trying to do what's right.